actually. I have an appointment with the mayoress. And he does rather lower the tone. The mayoress is coming here? Yes, that's right. Dame Christabel Wickham? Chrissy Wicky, yes. <laughs> Who you were at school with? I had that honour, yes. And you fancied ever since? Yes, that's the one. No. <laughs> now, don't be absurd. Oh, I shall know anyway, because your nose always twitches when you fancy someone. Patricia, you're not jealous, surely? Of course not. Why would I be when my boyfriend positively dribbles at the thought of another woman? But that's ridiculous, Patricia. How could you feel threatened by her? It's insane. Are you sure, Raymond? Well, of course. Chrissy Wickham is brilliant, beautiful, accomplished. I could never get a girl like that. <laughs> She's completely out of my league. <laughs> Thank you, Raymond. You've said enough. Well, I hope I've set your mind at rest. <laughs> a wonderful woman like that is scarcely a threat to any girlfriend of mine. <laughs> Brilliant. Beautiful. Think she might have had a little chin tuck. Hi, <laughs> Bess. Here already? Uh, how do I look? Sad and pathetic. Good. Good. <laughs> Maris Wickham, welcome to our humble and unworthy station. Hello, Raymond. <laughs> Your Worship, this is indeed an unhoped for honour. But don't be so formal. I can remember you following me up the stairs in big school trying to see my knickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm astonished and most touched that you recall our former acquaintance, ma'am. I could hardly forget old Feely Fowler, could I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's your office? I want to get straight down to it. <laughs> Tea, Sergeant. Oh, oh, please. Take a seat, your mamship. Oh, come on, Raymond. It's Chrissy in private. <laughs> that is most kind, your 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 Chrissy ship. <laughs> <laughs> this fixture against Chelsea. It's quite simply the biggest thing that's ever happened to Gasforth. And it could not have come at a better time. You are aware of our relocate in Gasforth media campaign? Oh, I am indeed, yes. I've seen the posters. Gasforth. It's not as bad as you think. <laughs> Britain is poised to become the sweatshop of Europe, and Gasforth cannot afford to be left behind. Well, no, indeed. We need profile. This FA Cup match is key. It'll bring television, the press, and thousands of people into the town. Win or lose, Gasforth is on the map. Your tea, ma'am. Put it on the desk and leave us. I didn't make you one, Feely. I thought you were hot and steaming enough already. <laughs> Biscuit, Sergeant. If you offer her a custard cream, perhaps she'll let you look at her knickers. <laughs> this will be Gasforth's big day. If anyone even looks as if they might cause trouble, lock them up. If you pull it off, Raymond, if my big day goes without a hitch, I'm going to do something for you that I know you've always wanted. Your Worship, can you mean...? I'm going to write to the Honours Commission and recommend you for an MBE. An M... 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 What a horrid, suspicious mind you have. There are any number of perfectly innocent reasons why a man might put his head up the mayoress's skirt. <laughs> she promised to recommend me for an MBE. Oh, I hope she doesn't try and get you knighted. I shall probably find you copulating together on the steps of the town hall. <laughs> These insinuations are unworthy of you. My relationship with the mayoress is entirely respectable. 
Even when you've got your face in her underwear? Particularly when I've got my face in her underwear. <laughs> particularly. <laughs> now, I think I've said all I need to say on the subject. Can we kindly move on to another topic? <sighs> all right. <sighs> I'm going to the bank at lunchtime. Can I get you anything from the shops? Hmm. Some chocolates and flowers for the mayoress. Some bliss so your lips don't get chapped when you're next kissing her bottom. 